bit of bright. <laughs> you sure? Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. I love doing this. I don't think I've ever interviewed you before, Tom. I remember sending you a DM back when I was a kid, not working in boxing, when you were on The Apprentice. I think you nearly got kicked out one episode. I was like, fuck, that was close. Followed the story ever since. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm really well. Thanks for having us. You okay? All good. All good. Let's talk a little bit about this. We're down here for the Box Off launch. Uh, sort of a new idea, uh, something that casual fans can get themselves involved in. They see people like you, JK, Ricky Hatton involved. Um, what it's going to be, quite raw fighters early in their career or maybe at crossroads in their career, thrown in, given an opportunity. Something that you're excited to be involved in? Yeah, I think it's a brilliant concept. Um, like I just said earlier, you know, a lot of fighters seem to, you know, Talented fighters that can't sell tickets don't seem to move on because they don't literally can't sell the tickets. They can't earn the money and the fights don't happen. So this is a great concept, level playing field, fighters that are matched up evenly. Ain't no journeyman, ain't no like, oh, this one's a walkover. They're, they can fight the same level and uh, it's good to help people on their careers, push them forward and go from there. When that sort of call first came, we know that you're someone who loves boxing. You've got that Bosch gym down in Brentwood. Was it something that eagerly sort of stuck out to you straight away? Yeah, when they, when they explained the concept to me and said, look, we'd love you to get involved and, and help with, with it, I said, listen, fantastic. What day do you want me? So, uh, yeah, great to be involved and looking forward to it. Let's talk about your gym. Uh, I know that boxing is something that's important to you. Uh, although you like going out and having a good one, you are still training as well, I believe, or yeah. doing as much as you can. I say, when I say training, training on Friday afternoon down my local pub. Okay, yeah. But um, yeah, no, listen, I, I, I enjoy watching boxing. I enjoy, I love boxing. You know, uh, always come second, always have done. <laughs> and uh, and uh, look, I, I own Boss Gym. It's a great gym. Um, it, we're in Brentwood now in Essex. We're looking to open up another one as well in East London. And uh, look, we, we do loads for the community. We've got some great fighters in there. And, and we, even Kieran Farrell's down there, who, who's phenomenal. Uh, Big Huey, the bangers, had 200 prize fights. He's, he's down there. And, and of course, you've got me in the corner having a hot dog and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a beer. No, I'm joking. I'm not. But look, it's good fun, good for the social. And if I didn't train every day, I would be 100 stone. So I have to do it. Um, Tom, you talk about doing stuff for the community and being able to give back. How important was that for you? We know that you're a... Uh, a bit of a phenomenon around the world now, but especially in Essex, uh, being able to give back your roots important for you. Yeah, well, I'm, listen, look, look, like lucky that I've done, I've done all right for myself in life. I ain't where I want to be yet. No, no one, I don't think no one ever is. But look, if I can give back and help, and when I can, I will, and always do that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna quiz you on the world of boxing as a whole. Tyson Fury is fighting Francis and Garno. Everyone wants to see the Usyk fight. What are your thoughts on it? He's earning a, a pretty pound note. It is, it, look, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, I mean, all, it's all about the money nowadays, I think. But um, yeah, I don't know if the other fight will happen, but we'll see. Joshua next weekend fights Dillian White. Excited for that one? Yeah, it'd be a good fight. I think both fighters really want it. Um, it I think it could potentially be both fighters' last fight, maybe. They're, they're, uh, look, they're great fighters, phenomenal fighters. Both probably towards the end of their careers now, maybe. I don't know. I'm not I'm no professional at saying it, but. I, I could see if Anthony Joshua doesn't do the job in the first few rounds, Dillian White wins it. Tom, finally for me, looks like we may see Conor Ben back in the boxing ring. Been a long process over the year. Your thoughts on it? I like Conor Ben, you know. I like Conor Ben a lot. He's, he's hungry, he's, he's a little warrior. And uh, yeah, look, I'm looking forward to seeing him back there, get back on his feet and, uh, and, and crack on. He's had, he's had a lot, he's had a lot of uh, a rough ride the last, the last year or so, hasn't he? So um, good luck to him, carry on. Tom Skinner, top man, thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social.